Hey, pilots! Drain Man here, and today I've got a pretty exciting video. In today's video, we are going to be checking out this new system by the creator of the legendary Caddx FPV Vista Air Unit. I'm pretty excited to check this out. I know you must be too, so let's go. <laughs> All right, pilots, so here's the deal, right? Caddx FPV, they made tons of units and tons of stuff and tons of cameras and all kinds of stuff. Night vision and drones and you name it, they got it. But when it came down to the DJI FPV video system, they made the Caddx Vista. They now have their own system. It is called Ascent Digital FPV System. This here says that it's for easy to master. You've got your brand new Ascent digital system. It's for ages 12 and up. Flip it over right here. It's telling us that we've got multiple flight modes for fun. It's ideal for indoor flight, outdoor camping, maybe outdoor flight, racing and FPV training. So that's nice. We've got smart hover and fail protection. <laughs> Crisp imaging, okay, fine, fine, fine. Ultra compact, so it's only a hundred grams. Oh. And here is where I'm throwing up the question mark, a top speed of a hundred kilometers per hour. If you do the math, that's somewhere just a smidge over 62 miles per hour. That is two and a half times faster than a cheetah. That is damn near a category one hurricane speed wins. You're telling me this thing that's a hundred grams is gonna go that fast? <laughs> So we're wrapped in plastic. Let's go ahead and cut that right there. <laughs> Woohoo! All right, let's dive in. It's like Christmas morning. Oh, wow, that's a nice carry case. Oh my gosh. Okay, so on this side, we've got, uh, you know, the cleaning stuff, we've got props. We've got different packages. We've got a, wow, we've got a Type C Caddx FPV wall plug. Okay. We've got a Caddx FPV USB to USB. We've got our radio. Wow. Okay. That does not feel bad. <laughs> what do we got right here? What's under here? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what that is, but you got it right there. Okay, we've got a spare shell for the quadcopter. Oh, we've got the quadcopter itself. Oh, wow, that is nice. Three battery packs. What's up? And they go right here in the little case. You've got your goggle battery, USB plug, goggle plug. Is this the dual charger? No, this is a triple charger. Oh, you slide it in the track. Oh, oh, this is nice. We are locked and loaded. I'm gonna throw this on the charger right now. Let's dive into these goggles. Wow, okay. Now you can only get so much for so much money inside of a combo. So I'm not sure how much we can expect from these. But as of right now, I mean, I feel like they have not skimped out on us. Let's try these on. Okay, okay. And you bring that over, and this is really cool. You're going to plug it in right here to your output, but when this dies, you'll charge this through Type C, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and plug this in. Boom. And now when I power this up, I hear the goggles on. Whoa, they're booting up. I don't know how good it is, but that's what I'm seeing. So this is actually going to slide in. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my God, this is crazy. 
All right, I'm going to undo this. Wow. And then slide it out. And that is a snug, tight fit. So taking a closer look at the goggles, it looks like there's an actual mount right here that supports glasses mounting. So you can purchase special glasses that will allow you to mount glasses for people like me who have glasses, okay? We've got several different buttons on the side here. We've got a nice carbon fiber style leather strap. This is a nice, very comfortable band, very stretchy. Spots for lights, this is gonna be our light. And then we've got a four and a half inch LCD display, that's very nice. It's got a built-in antenna, so there's no antenna sticking out, stabbing you or whatever, or getting banged up or dropped out or whatever, but I don't know what kind of limit that gives us as far as range goes. They did not mention range so far. These are 2S batteries. So the drone itself is only 100 grams. So underneath we have a aluminum alloy heat sink. We've got our switch button. We've got our, our boot button, which is very nice. We do have indicator lights, type C, linking button, which we won't need because they should hopefully already be linked. This is the ascent light camera. And then we've got our uh, brushless motors and injection molded frame. This is not some flimsy, flimsy plastic. I mean, this is actually pretty robust right here. So that's, that's very nice. All right, and then the last thing I wanna scan over is gonna be our radio. So we kinda of took a quick peek at this, just kinda of trying to figure it out ourselves. We do have our linking button if we wanna link it to a quadcopter. We've got our indicator light right here. We've got Type-C charging right here, or firmware updates for later. We've got a power button. We've got control sticks, momentary buttons, limit rollers, two three position switches we have a latching button so we will need to learn the switches and stuff thankfully the drone does have bright leds right here and they do have actual meanings to each color it looks like there's a guide right here inside of the manual so i keep that nearby just so you get the hang of it you've also got position hold altitude hold okay we've got some fun stuff to play with here so and there is an fpv flight simulator which is very cool which is where you can take this and you can connect it to the computer and basically do a flight sim and practice if you're a beginner that way you don't go out and destroy your brand new protos all right then you've got product specifications so this is pretty cool anybody who's interested in real world specs okay so let's dive into the drone really quick. Um, it is an AIO Caddx Protoss flight controller. We've got the Ascent Light is our video transmission system. Our motors are an 1102 14,000 kV motor. Our propellers are uh, 1.6 by 1 inch, so that's very nice. And they're three blade. We're somewhere around 105 grams we should be able to fly somewhere around eight minutes. Wow. And then it is running uh, 2.4 ELRS. So it is an STM32 F4 flight controller. It's got the BMI 270 gyro. Very nice. We've got an onboard barometer. We've got our receiver on board. Do, 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 do. We're running BL Heli S. Or is it Blue Jay? I think we're running Blue Jay. We have a 12 amp ESC, very nice. Our uh, VTX, which is gonna be our camera, basically, is running a uh, 147 degrees of camera uh, field of view. We've got a 16 by nine ratio. We are able to run 1080p at 60 frames per second. I like that. All right, our power lets us go all the way up to 100 milliwatts, 25 to 100, but keep in mind, this is the Ascent Light. As they uh, deliver and release, you know, Ascent Pro, we're gonna get stronger and stronger and better and better. We've got a 256 gig support SD card slot, and it is the Ascent Digital System. We've got full bearing hall sensor joystick assembly, 
It goes on and on. It does have a thousand milliamp hour battery inside of the radio. That honestly should be enough for a while because the radio doesn't do too much. So that's our basic specifications. If we're just rolling through specs like, hey, I don't care about your opinion. I want the numbers on the paper. That's what that was. All right. Arming happened. Arming happened. Okay, it shut off on its own. Let's rearm. So it's a double press, a little bit of throttle, let's see. Okay, it's in acro. It's in acro, so you've got to have both hands, which I do not have both hands right now because I'm holding the camera. Okay, right, so watch. Just the move of this switch. Red, that's acro. I move it to the center. That's blue. Blue is angle mode. Let's go all the way. Let's see. What color? What color? Oh, red again. What do we got? Uh, that, wait, wait. Uh, uh. So wait, we have two switches for red? One's orange, one's red. So that wasn't acro. Orange means the drone's position mode. In this state, arming and flight are possible. Possible. I need goggles. Let's get in. I'm going to have to try to put them over my glasses, to be honest, because I cannot see out of these, like, literally at all. Ugh, this is brutal. I bet I look ridiculous, but let's try. Wait, I can't do that, because then when I breathe, I get fogged out. I can't do no glasses. Can I? Oh, man. I can fly with one eye. Let's try. Here we go. Okay. Looks to be in position hold. On its own, maybe? On its own. I'm afraid because I have a pool right there. But I'm in. I'm not touching this. And there you go. We're in position hold. I would assume some sort of hold. I don't know if that's altitude hold. I don't know if that's position hold. So a little more throttle would go up and a little down throttle should land. Here we go, you ready? There it is. Just like that. All I did was bring the throttle down and it landed on its own and sat down and shut off. Pretty intelligent. <laughs> Let's see, what do you think, Todd? What do you think, buddy? You like it or no? Ah, he likes it. He likes it. <laughs> you through hollows, arguments about who and who, I'm focused on me and you, I know when the love is real, but also when the love is gone, hit me out on how you felt, tell me now what's going on, again and again, yeah again and again, another boy, another night, another friend of a friend, again and again, yeah again and again, I can't even see the bottom line. why'd you have to leave me heartless, baby you're my biggest problem, even when the silver I don't not start and then it's early in the morning, baby, it's still better than you. Why'd you have to leave me heartless? Heartless. Why'd you have to leave me heartless? Heartless. Why'd 
Why'd you have to leave me heartless? Baby, you're my biggest problem Even when the Silverado not started And it's early in the morning Baby, it's still better than you Why'd you have to leave me heartless? Heartless Why'd you have to leave me heartless? Heartless Again and again, yeah, again and again I can't even see the ball alone all right, pilots, so I have now flown the Caddx FPV Pro Toast drone, and it is a complete set with the Caddx FPV HD Ascent Digital System, and that is their goggles that works with their new VTX. It is a camera and VTX built in to the quadcopter. I do really, really like the video. I felt like the video was pristine. It was crisp. It was clear. The refresh rate was great. I was absolutely impressed with that. These goggles are very nice for a budget starter beginner package. But if you're an FPV pilot, this is what you do. You, you do it for fun or you do it for work. These are not goggles that you're going to pick up and use and fly on a daily basis. It's just not. This is something you use to get started in the hobby. So what that tells me is hopefully Caddx FPV was just dipping their toes into the market and they're going to have a real set of Ascent HD, HD digital goggles coming out, the real deals, the big boys that you can fly and use and maintain as your everyday flyers. That would be incredible. But for a budget package to get this type of quality radio is very impressive. The hall sensor gimbals, you've got switches galore, you've got a very nice form factor, everything was very responsive, very comfortable. When I'm a pincher, when I'm holding it pinching, I've got my arming here, I can switch up my rates, everything was great and finally the drone the drone is built like a tank i love this battery system watch this you pop it and that's it you throw it in your triple charger pull it out put it in and you just literally and that's it so overall, this is a fantastic little set. Absolute beautiful introduction to the new HD Ascent Digital FPV system by Caddx FPV, the creator of the legendary Caddx Vista. So overall, I'm very impressed. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. I hope that you had as much fun as I did. And I will see you on the next one.